Hi everyone, I'm going to do a tutorial today on Lime Survey. This is an open source uh, survey creation tool and it seems to be pretty sophisticated from the exploration that I have done. In fact, probably more sophisticated than I myself would need. Um, so I'm going to do this for an audience of perhaps undergraduate students who are going to be engaging in um, research uh, that would involve surveying uh, people. So. Without further ado, I'm going to show you how creating a survey works. So I click here and I can give my survey a title. So I'm going to just do a dummy survey of um, how to know if you really love cats. So this will be a quiz type thing. Uh, you can give a good description here. I'm just going to type in gibberish. There's also a welcome message that you can put. Um, and then you can also indicate that you'd like an end message. And so I'm going to say my end message of my cat survey is going to say cats. I'll be able to choose maybe a font style. Let's do Comic Sans just for kicks. And let's make it as big as possible. We can go here and we can change the text color. So I've kind of set it up that way. I can also send my users um, to a URL at the end. So if I, after the survey, if I wanted to send them to a particular um, website, like I can has cheeseburger.com, then once they're done, it'll go there. Uh, we have general settings here. Um, the format can be question by question or group by group. You can also choose a template here. So Bootswatch is kind of this lovely blue sort of prismatic shape. Uh, vanilla is plain and Fruity has the um, standard lime. So it's kind of branded to their, their particular stuff. And there's lots of, of features in here. Um, ones that I myself just as a lay person wouldn't necessarily use, but if you're trying to get pretty sophisticated with your surveying, this seems to be an extremely powerful um, website to do that with that. So you can have date stamp or IP address on your results. Um, there's settings for participants, all kinds of things. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just kind of kind of ignore all that, particularly because it would make my tutorial way too long, and then just save it so it'll move me on to the next part where I can actually create some questions. So, and it's not really intuitive how you create questions. I've used other survey tools before like SurveyMonkey, and it's pretty straightforward. Um, but Lime Survey is very obscure, so I had to play around a little bit before I figured out that you click on List Questions Group, and then you can click Add New Group. So you have to create question groups uh, before you can actually create questions. So this question group is going to be cats. Description, cats, cats, cats. And then you can save and start adding your questions. So here they require you to do a question code. Um, and so this is, if you're gonna later take the results and put them into a graph, um, this is probably really powerful for graphing and actually collecting your data. Um, but it is required even for silly surveys, like whether you love cats or not. So I'm gonna say C1 is my code. Um, and then here I ask my question, what kind of cat is your favorite cat? And then over here is where you'd select the question type. So I could do long free text where people can just type in um, huge free text, text, multiple short text, short free text. Um, you can do multiple choice questions and that's where if you want to allow people to do to select multiple answers. So um, if you want it to just be that they can only select one, it would be single choice questions. And then they give you um, different formats here. You can do a drop down list, you can do radio buttons, um, you can have a list, people can make comments. They also have array questions, uh, which these are sort of like Likert scale uh, 
options, I would guess. Uh, I haven't really played around with that too much. Um, then there are masks, mask questions here, and I wasn't really familiar with this term, either because I'm not a surveyor or because this um, product is made by folks outside of the United States. But basically, you can add questions about gender or, um, let's see, ranking, it's different things here. So a gender question type preview. Um, and this helps you then sort out your data later on down the road. You know, it can code how females answered versus how males answered. Um, so that's what I think the mass questions are about, but I'm not 100% sure. And then, yeah, text questions and multiple choice. Um, so I'm going to do multiple choice here for this. And this just gives me a preview of what it's going to look like. So I just select that guy. And then this is also sort of a non-intuitive aspect. You have to save. And then it's going to say, oh, you need to add sub-questions. OK. So I don't necessarily consider the answers that you would offer to a question to be sub-questions. Um, but here is where you could put, like, um, Tabby and Siamese cat would be a choice. And maybe your favorite kind of cat is a Maine Coon. And perhaps you like calico cats. <clears throat> so then you can save. And so let's preview our survey. We can get pretty lengthy with this, but don't want this tutorial to go on too long. And so, how do you know if you really love cats? That's the title that I chose. <clears throat> and then here's where my description would be. And then there's also some more stuff there. This tells you there's one question in the survey. Click Next. What kind of cat is your favorite cat? And I might want to say, well, I like Tabby, but I also like Maine Coon. And then it knows it's the last question, so I click Submit. It takes me to that last page, and then I can click on this I can has cheeseburger. Um, website here. So that is basically how you can create a simple survey on Lime Survey. Uh, there are many more features with this particular open source website that I did not utilize, but I certainly could in the future. Um, the reason why I did create this particular tutorial is I googled on um, YouTube for Lime Survey tutorials. And there were several that had no audio with them, even produced by the actual Lime survey folks. Um, so that was pretty off-putting. And then one of the surveys, or one of the tutorials that I found that did have sound was rather old, and it looks like they have um, changed the layout of Lime survey sufficiently to where it looks totally different on that video than it does now. So that is how I am adding sort of to the, to the canon of the Lime survey tutorials. And that is all for me. I enjoyed playing with this open source product very much.